My guest tonight single-handedly brought back the crew cut. He is truly one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Please welcome Pete Rose. Peter. Hey, Dennis. Thank you. How you doing, Dennis? How you doing, man? Doing great. How you doing? How you doing, Pete? Look at me. I'm back in baseball. See the field behind me? <laughs> It looks like a Padre game. Nobody's too excited. Uh, <laughs> and you look like a Padre. <laughs> no. uh, now, Pete, just let me ask you as a regular citizen, the uh, crux of tonight's little tirade was about victimless crimes. Do you think things like uh, gambling, uh, prostitution, drugs in this country, although obviously a lot of people think there's some things wrong with them, do you think we should legislate and spend so much money to do away with them? Don't you think it's always going to exist? I think so, sure. Where you're at right now in Las Vegas, obviously, uh, uh, legalized gambling is always going to be there, but I don't know about the other stuff. <laughs> now, where, uh, where do you stand on, uh, you've always insisted, am I not correct, that you never felt you had a gambling problem, right? True. Yeah. And they, they insist that they have some evidence that you have gambled on baseball. I guess that's the biggest crime of all for them, right? Well, I think that's a... Uh, a done deal as far as I'm concerned when I signed that agreement with the commissioner's office and uh, of course if they want to keep tooting their horn uh, I, I'm not a, I'm not in control of that it's just that uh, I'm in, in control of my life now and uh, we're doing a lot of good things down here in Boca Raton Florida not Cincinnati Ohio yeah you seem to be doing great I hear your radio show you're growing yeah. acclimated to well that. matter of fact we just signed with a new syndicator right out of Las Vegas called the sports fan radio network and uh, they do a lot of programming from the MGM and uh, hey wait a minute a I just signed with them well, that's good. That's why I didn't get any money. You got it all. Now, okay, all that being said, though, I know that you were probably the most competitive human being I ever saw. I used to watch you run down to first. I used to see you go into third face first. I used to think, this guy is a completely indomitable force. I think the only other person I've seen like that is Magic. And I think, is it, uh, is it just like sort of Moses being stuck at the promised land gate that you can't get into the Hall of Fame? Will it eat at you, or do you have that in, together in your head? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, at ease with that because it's out of my control right now. And I was in control for 24 years as a player, and I think I took pretty good control. But uh, uh, like I said, if I continuously do good things and make it hard for the next guy that's in charge of baseball, whoever that may be, uh, make it hard for him to turn me down, and maybe someday I'll get to Cooperstown. And if I ever do, I think you understand I'll be the, be the most appreciative guy ever to go there. Yeah. I, well, I, I, under, I understand the game of baseball, Dennis, and the history and the nostalgia and, and the Babe Ruths and the Ty Cobbs and the Hannes Wagners and the Trish Speakers. I mean, the modern-day player, don't know who in the hell we're talking about, but uh, I have did a history lesson on the game of baseball. The modern-day player thinks those guys are lawyers. Yes. They, uh... <laughs> All right, we've got be. a call for you, Pete. Line four, it's Mike from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, how you doing, Dennis? Good, how you doing, boss? Hey, I'm a really big fan of yours. Cool. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mike. How's it going? I'm a big friend of, uh, fan of <laughs> Dennis's, too. <laughs> Cut well, to the chase, nice baby. Where's that company? question? Well, I was wondering, can you really consider prostitution a victimless crime, considering all the sexually transmitted diseases out y there? You know what, though? I you know, I, I sometimes think that we're never going to solve all these things, man, but you got to grant me this. People have always wanted to get laid. Some people can't get laid through the regular channels, so they're going to pay to get laid. You're never going to get everybody going, okay, I don't want to get laid anymore. Yeah, the world doesn't work in some areas, but I just don't think you can spend all the money that we do trying to stop. Put it this way, I think there are worse things than getting laid. I mean, you know, that's my feeling. Pete, you with me on that, baby? Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I guess that's Pete. why they made it. That's why they made Come hands, on, Dennis. <laughs> Come clean with me, man. You're the preeminent batsman of your generation. <laughs> I don't know anything about no prostitutes. All right. That's one thing I've never been accused of. <laughs> All right. We got another call. Everything line. else, but not that. Okay. Line five, we got Chris from... Uh, is the name of this city Mulga, Alabama? Mulga? Chris, you're stunned yeah. at the name of your own city. Uh, yeah, Mulga. Are you yeah, there? I was going to ask you, do you feel the uh, media has treated you fairly? Yeah, sure. What about you, Pete? The media? Uh, <laughs> I can name you probably on uh, one of my hands some guys who uh, I thought were friends that didn't uh, treat me right. But uh, overall, I'd say that uh, they reported what they heard, and that's not always 100% accurate, too. 
Now, um, Dennis has treated me okay, but he's not in the media. Well, you know what, man? I just, I try to be a pragmatist, pragmatist about this stuff. They can talk all they want about gambling on baseball. I'm never going to know your life, nor do I need to know your life. But all I can tell you is I have never seen a guy in my entire 41 years of watching sports, or I'm 41, I guess 31 years of watching sports, who put out more. I mean, I know you didn't cheat out there. You might have, I don't know if you bet your ass out on everything that ever existed, but I know when you got on that baseball field, you were a tough son of a bitch, and I admire you for that. I appreciate that, Dennis. And it, it kind of scares me being on the show tonight because the last time you and I were together on your late night show, the next day they canceled the show, and I'm a little bit worried. I know, man. You were on my second to last show. <laughs> I don't know if I was a bad luck or what it was, but uh, I, I never know how they did that because you're great. Well, if I'm off the air tomorrow, I'm coming down and taking a bat to your legs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Pete Dennis. Rose, ladies and gentlemen. All right.